Hey everybody, Miss Amy here with the BWC Online Bible Study and I um, want to come to you guys today with Romans chapter 16. Um, I almost waited until tomorrow to do this so that I could be a little more spruced up for you guys, but um, I keep saying that I'm welcoming you into my life and my home as we read the word together. And so um, I'm actually going to welcome you into my day as it really is, you know, um, I'm cleaning my house today, bleaching stuff down. I'm sure all you guys are doing that too, Lysol and things. Um, just making sure that all the surfaces are cleaned off and, and shiny and sparkly and germ-free. And, um, and so, you know, I, I figured, you know, as I make this video to, that I would just come to you as I am and, and share the word with you and read the Bible with you. You know, everything, like I said, is so far out of the ordinary. And as I was reading through this Romans um, chapter 16, um, I just began to think about how, you know, Romans chapter 16 is um, Paul um, sending a personal greeting to everybody that he was um, had been writing to in the book of Romans. He wanted to mention people and, and care about them and show his love toward them. And um, I was just thinking about that, you know, they, they had a sign up appreciating healthcare workers and, you know, and I keep seeing posts about paramedics and the wonderful people who work in the grocery stores and the doctors who are, are putting themselves on the line and, um, and nurses and respiratory therapists and, and just all the people, um, the policemen who, who are out there, um, caring for our public and making sure that we stay safe. Um, so many people and, and just on and on and on the churches that, that made sure that there were messages that were going to be posted for Sunday. Um, the people that got together and, and got all that together, you know, just, it's just such a wonderful outpouring of, um, of bravery and of love and consideration toward others. And, um, in this time when things are so stressful, um, that we make sure that we are um, running to the Father, that we are coming to Him with our hearts open and ready to receive. I had read through this Romans chapter 16 several times, and as I was reading through um, the Word, um, you know, I was I was thinking about you guys and wondering how I could take a um, an ending to a letter like a, a farewell and turn that into a message and. Um, and my son sent me a message to listen to earlier today, and I really liked what the pastor had said, that um, when he sits down to read the Word, he doesn't sit down to prepare a message. He sits down to hear from his father. And um, and it really just, oh, it just tugged at my heart because, you know, we need to sit down and, and listen to our father. You know, reading the Word is not a chore. It's an honor and a privilege to get to hear from the heart of the Father what it is that He wants to speak to you today. And so, you know, we're reading through the Bible a chapter at a time, and when we've got our focus in the right place, then we can, then we can walk on the water. We can do things that we wouldn't be able to do. We can have courage that we wouldn't be able to have, and to, and to hear um, just who we are in Christ. Um, through the word where um, when we've got our focus on on other things that that were um, going to be distracted you know there's the story in the Bible about Paul when he jumps out of the boat to go see Jesus Jesus was walking on the water and Paul jumps out of the boat and he he goes to run to Jesus and when he began to look at the winds and the waves he began to sink um, when he was focused on Jesus he was walking on the water and even as he began to sink even as he began to fall into the water, Jesus didn't just leave him there. Jesus, you know, oh, you have a little faith. And he, he reached down and he picked him up and he, he pulled him up into safety. And, um, and so I just want to encourage you today to run to the Father, to, to keep your focus on Jesus and, and in perspective. Um, who you are in Christ and, and that you are his. You know, I, I have had times in my career when I have had to have bravery um, 
and and needed to face things that that were difficult and challenging and um, never in my life have I had to fight a spirit of fear like I've had to fight um, ha had to fight recently and and it is that um, that as I sat down to read this word I felt a father encouraging me and and that's why you know i come to you guys and i really want you to start digging into your bible um we're reading a chapter at a time like i said but open your heart to hear what it is that the lord is trying to speak to you as you as you read um like i said paul was pouring out encouragement um and the first part the very first part of the thing the um of the chapter that i read i just oh i was just overwhelmed by what it was that the lord was speaking to my heart just encouragement you're you're headed in the right direction you're doing the right thing um don't give up don't quit um and and how do you get that from a um a sincerely paul at the end of the at the end of the chapter but i'm going to read to you what i read and i'm going to challenge you guys to come in and read the word for yourself and and see what it is that god speaks to you um he said i commend to you our sister phoebe who is a deacon in the church of Sancria. Welcome her in the Lord as one who is worthy of honor among God's people. Help her in whatever she needs, for she has been helpful to many, especially me. And as I read that, it's just a greeting. It's Paul just saying, hey, here she comes, you know, be, be nice to her, I'm sending her to you. But during that day and time, you know, before Jesus came before Jesus tore the veil and opened up the opened up the presence of God to the Gentiles opened up salvation to all of us poured out his spirit so that um, so that the spirit of God could come on all of his people um, the women were not even allowed to come into the sanctuary of the church and here it is that the Apostle Paul um, is writing this letter to the Romans and telling them to that he's commending his sister Phoebe um, or our sister Phoebe so I mean she was a Christian um, who's a deacon in the church this was unheard of um, welcome her in the Lord as one who is worthy of honor among God's people um, and, and it just stopped me in my tracks because I, I just felt encouraged. I felt like you're, you're on the right track, kid, keep going. And, um, and you know, as you open up the word for yourself, you're going to find that encouragement there too. You're going to find Psalms 91. You know, I know you probably heard it a billion, billion times in the last few weeks, but you know what? You need God's protection. Um, John three sixteen. you need to know that for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whosoever whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life Jesus gave up his life for you Jesus gave his all for you he died on the cross and he rose again because he loves you and he wants you to come into his presence. He wants to call you his own. He wants to have a close and personal relationship with you. God didn't want the separation that sin brought in and that, that people were separated from him. He, he gave up part of himself um, and, and all of that so that you could be his child, so that you could come into his presence. Um, we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus because of what Jesus did for us, not because of our perfection, not because we do everything right, not because we did this or we did that, but simply because we choose to receive the gift. And um, I want to encourage you to receive that gift and the gift of God's word. Um, so we're going to wrap up Romans chapter 16, um, and then we're moving on to 1 Corinthians um, chapter 1. 
um, in the next few days. So I just want to remind you guys if you liked the um, if you liked the Bible study today, you can hit like, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, and you can hit the little bell for notifications. Um, anytime we post anything from the church, it will um, pop up, and you can watch. So you guys be blessed and have a really great day. Be encouraged and know that you're loved and, um, and that the Father cares about you. Bye now.